Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating for all of you how to make a copy of files that are shared with you, um, files that are sent to you, as long as you have the link to get into a Google Doc, a Google Slides presentation, whatever it may be, um, you're able to make a copy for yourself. You do not have to request access to the document. Uh, you can just go right ahead and make yourself a copy and then that copy is yours to do what you want with it. Okay, so I have the Facebook group Bitmoji Craze for Educators pulled up. Uh, I would like to make a huge shout out to the rest of the admin and moderator team that I have had the pleasure of working with. Yesterday we hit a milestone of 500,000 members. So that's half of a million people. If you are not already a member of the Bitmoji Craze for Educators group, make sure you go onto Facebook and check them out. There are tons of free shared resources from educators all over the world that are trying to support each other and make this remote or hybrid or in class with technology thrown in situation easier for everyone. So here is the page. Um, if there was um, a document that I wanted to copy and I know one of my fellow moderators, Carissa has a really great clip art catalog that she um, shares with everyone. So. I'll actually look for her in the group, and that's what I'm going to search. I'm going to search her name. Okay. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to scroll down, and here, I think this is it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's the file. Okay, yep, that's the one that I want. So I'm going to click on the thumbnail, and here we go. The document is now open, okay? And as you can see, it says view only. So I can't change anything here. I can't click on anything, okay? Um, but if there was something that I wanted, I can right click and I can copy the picture and I can use that. But if for whatever reason I wanted a copy of this document for myself, all you have to do is just go up to where it says file, Scroll down to where it says make a copy. Okay, you kind of just hover over it and then go to the right where it says entire presentation and that's what I'm going to select unless there were only sl certain slides that I wanted. But I'm gonna make a copy of this entire presentation. I can even go ahead and rename this. So I'm gonna name it thesis copy. Okay, and you can see here it's gonna to go to my drive. If I wanted this to go to a different folder in my drive, I could go ahead and click that. But I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now the file, I'm sure, is a little large, so it might take a moment, and it might take a moment for you as well. Um, this is always depending on how large the file is, how many slides are in it. Um, but once, once this loads, which it's right here, I can see that I'm in my copy. And if I go ahead and go into my drive, Okay, I could probably just refresh. And there it is. Now it's in my drive. If I want to move this to a different folder, I can do that. But regardless, I can now go in and if I wanted to make changes to this file, you can see here, once I click in it, I can go ahead and I can do whatever I need to do to this because it is now my copy. So if you were wondering how to do that, you don't have to request access. Uh, what happens a lot of times is I, I get access requests from, from educators and I try to go in just so that they don't think that I forgot about them even though it's not necessary. And a lot of times your school districts have prevented anybody from outside organizations um, sharing files with you. So just know that you're not being ignored. A lot of the times, you know, there's really nothing that we can do, and it's really not even necessary for you to request access to the document. So you don't have to wait for it. Just make a copy, and then it's yours. Do whatever you need to do. Okay, so I hope this made sharing a little easier for all of you. If you have questions, comment down below. As always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and then click that little bell notification icon so that you don't miss my future videos. Take care, everyone.